or <coughs> the plan, not, not the commissioners here, those who, who initiated that there must be a commission. <coughs> you recall that uh, <coughs> when <coughs> I was not at the national level, I was in the province, Suddenly, <clears throat> I had to be charged. <clears throat> before charged, before being charged, <clears throat> I was um, removed as a deputy president <clears throat> of the country, 2005, because I was implicated in the arms deal. Bear in mind that I was not in the national, I was not part of the processes, I was in the province. And it did not make sense to me. Of all the people who dealt with the arms deal, not a single one was ever, or there were ever allegations against but there were allegations against me. I had to be investigated in a very <clears throat> strange way, even that investigation. I had them be investigated. the head of NPA and the minister had a press conference wherein it was announced yes there is in our investigation there is a prima facie case against Zuma but it's unwinnable in court so that's why we're not charging him Now, there are investigations and investigations. I've never had that kind of level of investigation being reported <clears throat> in the media. Why it was reported in the media for me? There are so many cases. Clearly, <clears throat> that indicated the beginning of the implementation of this particular plan and the, the conspiracy. I term at some point to ask Muga, why did you tell me you were investigating me? And what is that you are investigating? <clears throat> Muga says, no, you are supposed to be told by the ministers. Fine, I think that was a fair point. But he says there's no case against you. There's just a few letters written by Shabir where he mentions your name, as people always drop names. <clears throat> but a week thereafter, I was called by <clears throat> two leading <clears throat> people in government and in the ANC who said, Man, there's been an investigation against you. And it has come to a point where we must take a decision whether to continue investigating you or not. But <coughs> this matter needs to be discussed to so find a solution. And I said, what solution? And at the end, I said, <coughs> after whatever they said, I don't understand because the man who's investigating just a week ago told me I've got no case. You are telling me here that you have a case. I don't understand. I did not destabilize that meeting. 
But of course, around the same time, there was information that I'm going to be talked to so that I resign from the leadership and go to Ghana and I'll be looked after. Just resign. <laughs> There was a rumor that I would be given something like 20 million and I would be maintained. Or if I resigned this case, we we'll then have a way to solve this case. And I was saying to myself, hmm, that plan is now being implemented. These people don't know that I know something about the plan. Because myself and George Hunter, we did not report it to the intelligence. It remained in the corridors of intelligence. So the issue of Zuma must resign, Zuma must leave the leadership, started way back as part of this plan. Because I did not resign. <clears throat> because nobody at that point said it out and out. But there was in the in, in the corridors. <clears throat> that was followed by then uh, the decision to remove me as a deputy president by the president of the country. <coughs> and of course I did move away. I made it very clear that as a cadre of the NC, I'm not going to add, I'm not going to be president of the right to, to take, etc. So I got out. I was also, but uh, shortly thereafter, <coughs> in terms of the ANC activities, I was brought back by the membership of the ANC in an NGC that was in Victoria. So we continue. Then we were also approaching another conference, which was in Polokon, where there was, as, as, as usual, as known, contestations, people having different preferences, etc. And I'm sure it's a conference that is known by <coughs> many people. <coughs> um, that's where I became the president. But there were a lot of activities going on at the time <coughs> and discussions about me in particular. Later on, I got to know that in fact there was a determination to arrest me before the conference in order to avoid me being part of that conference. I think such facts have come to light, <clears throat> particularly around the case that I'm tracing in court in what is called the um, Sumatates, wherein police, politicians, leaders of the country were talking about me, that I must be arrested. That information was feeding into <clears throat> this fundamental intelligence organization plan to deal with Zuma. Of course, perhaps it's a long story to say what are the issues, why Zuma must be dealt with in this fashion. <clears throat> I'm sure it's obvious. <clears throat> we proceeded in our <clears throat> life and working in government and the organization.
When I was uh, <coughs> when I was being dismissed, in a statement in Parliament, the President says Zuma must have his day in court, and I didn't been charged by then. It was the first time I hear <coughs> I must have my day in court, but. You will also remember this. I was investigated, there was a lot of harapalu. Those who were investigating finally felt they had reached a stage to charge. They decided not to charge me, but charge Shabir Sheikh. But <clears throat> the accusation was that we committed crime with him. but not charged death, charged of death. As I got to know later, because they wanted Shabir to be convicted in order to charge him. And that's what happened. <clears throat> so in a sense, prolonging the, um, the narrative about Zuma is corrupt. We also recall that uh, when <clears throat> Judge Squires convicted Shabir, thereafter there was a lot of talk about that people say uh, <clears throat> The judge said between Shabir and Zuma, <clears throat> there has been a general <clears throat> uh, corrupt relationship. That relationship was a corrupt relationship. The media, politicians, academics, we all talk about this. This Zoom, with this generally corrupt relationship with Shabir. This was all over the world. Until the judge thought this was unfair to him now. Because he had never said so. And asked people to read his judgment. Was he never said there was a generally <coughs> corrupt relationship between these two individuals. But everyone had been saying this. Where did they get it from? Why would they put such a serious phrase <clears throat> against some individuals, an allegation which was unfounded? This was done to enhance the narrative against Zoom that Zoom is corrupt. Even if the judge did not say that, they must put the words in the mouth of the judge. Fortunately, that one is a matter that <clears throat> many people know. It was clear to me that this plan continues. And that's why <clears throat> I would say there are people who would not be happy if I was not either in jail or <clears throat> I was not removed. <clears throat> uh, of course we continued. As I was supposed to be charged, Again, uh, when I've been charged already, rather, <clears throat> the investigations were going on. NPA was confronted by the tapes. Plenty of 
planning, <coughs> conspiring to charge me with politicians and everybody else. The tapes are now a public thing. 20 that when the head of NK at the time came to know about these tapes, decided to withdraw the charges. And therefore I had no case against me then. <clears throat> Not because of anything, because the plan to carry to assassinate Zuma, the plan to move, remove Zuma from leadership, and the explanation was done by these three intelligence organizations, <clears throat> that he should be out, because if he's there, he will use the information he has to either expose or stop our people from going forward. 